Hello everybody. I am back and we are going into the guest room. Is this another dream, he thought, and screamed at the top of his lungs? Is that it? My journal is gone. What would they want with my journal? Well, you want to put that orb, that could be one thing. That's definitely a cockroach, it's a very big cockroach. Let's just squish it! Now I'm going to attack my flies. 2nd of July, 1839. I received a letter today from the Algerian governor's office disclosing the fate of Herbert's expedition. About a week after my departure, Abdullah, one of the men travelling with us, returned from the desert. He was badly injured, as if maimed by a lion. The man rambled deliriously about the expedition being attacked by something horrible. The French quickly dispatched a search party to look for the expedition. After searching for days, they found the camp abandoned without any trace of Herbert or his men. Tomorrow, I'll retrieve the things they recovered from Herbert's tent at the customs house. I don't know what to make of it, but I'm worried for him. Yeah, something's going down with Herbert. Can you pull these out? Nah. Aha! It's gone quiet. All the like bugs are now gone. All the flies. The maggots. <gasps> More oil! It's quite a nice room. If it wasn't like this. Let's check this door. Uh, the door is stuck due to a broken lock. Okay. Oh, oh, so you can do it on the big ones, but not the small ones, it seems. Okay. Okay, nothing in there. Huh. Oh, really? Daniel. What? Still having nightmares, I see. Yes. I can't shake them. They come every night. We'll put a stop to them. You'll see. Hmm. What are the nightmares about, though? Oh, a crowbar. Before I pick that up, because I know something's going to happen as soon as I do. Inch. 3rd of July, 1839. Today I picked up Herbert's things at the customs house. I dug through the trove of documents he had carried and found a log detailing the expedition. The nature of this text ranged from quick notes to colourful accounts of transpired events. I skimmed the pages trying to figure out what might have happened. May 17th, the day I was trapped inside the orb chamber, Herbert dryly states, recovered Daniel after one hour of entrapment. This confused me greatly. I was suffocating within minutes. How could I have lasted an hour? I continued reading the peculiar text. Herbert states his facts without judgment or passion, but suddenly I could read frustration into his text. He pushed his men to investigate the underground tomb, an effort which seems to have strained the minds of his men. Madness spread through the ranks, and Herbert had to take some extreme measures to continue. He finally visits the chamber himself, where he retrieves the orb to the surface. His account confuses me greatly. If he has the orb, what are those pieces in my drawing room? Okay. So there's more than one orb? Or have we only got half the orb? Well, already we can sort of tell the orb is going to come important. Nothing? Ah. Oh. Those bugs are creepy. 
I need to get myself a um, companion or something. It'd be less scary. Anything in these? Can't even pull some of these up. Um, the do the. We got given a crowbar, so and it was a broken lock. I'm pretty sure we don't have to drill our way through. Uh, uh, oh, oh, uh. it, it broke. The key. Please let it be here. Very windy. Hmm. Behind a painting that moved. I don't trust this either. <laughs> um, uh, let's check the room a bit more first. Find out why it was locked. Well, I had a broken lock. Yeah. <gasps> Find a place to hide. You have no way to use I have fists! Get in! Ugh. Holy shit. <gasps> is that a clothes peg? Yes, it is. Gone. It's that same creature. <laughs> of course, they were going to make you hide in there, though, weren't they? If anything. It broke the door completely. Yeah. Fourth of July, eighteen thirty-nine. It's done. The orb is assembled. I was awakened by an exhausting nightmare. Shaking and sweating, I retired to the drawing room with a cup of tea. The relic pieces lay spread across the table as I'd left them, but somehow I knew how it was supposed to be. I fetched the tar, which I had prepared to fix the pieces together, and without fault I joined them, producing the orb I remembered so clearly. The tar proved unnecessary. It was pushed out from the joining pieces as they merged on their own, with no adhesive. The ancient stone relic now rests on my table. Its immaculate surface and perfect shape could have been moulded by a factory. This is all too strange. You said it. <laughs> okay. If he came back then. Oh. Alright, what key was it? It was the machine room key. We haven't even seen the machine room yet. Stupid bugs. Sir William Smith had been marked. There is no way for him to know that the young man the other day cast such a terrible shadow. Oh, I read it. Okay. thing in the middle is so weird. Study. Right. Professor Taylor was the second death caused by his damned curiosity. You can see a hand, too. I do not like the look of this. Is that a dog? Uh. 
Okay. Oh, tinderbox. Some sort of dog here somewhere. Alright, it's bright enough to s You can stop with the whispering. And wind. Oh no, I have to read this now, don't I? <laughs> to my most trusted student and friend, Joanne Weiner. Weiner. Yeah. The most remarkable thing happened as I travelled through the Parisian woods this summer. I finally found one of those orbs I have been looking for in the last 20 odd years. It is as unexpectedly. <laughs> there, I can't even say words now. Unexpectable. As the um, heliodromes described, I don't even know what that says. Uh, it is, it is there. Uh, it in the um, Hortus conclusus. Okay, I might even say these things right. I don't even know myself. It was as uh, it was told about an underground Mifrak Marik Mifrak. I don't even know anymore. I hate these type of things. Temple <laughs> crowded with an unearthly. Artifact. The orb was uh, was big enough to fill my <laughs> cupped hand, and its texture was smooth and ragged. The color washed uh, washed while rich. Contrast is not enough to describe its nature. It was an impossibility. <laughs> uh, it was an impossibility, an artifact paradox uh, uh, captured within the stone. I was uh, staying in the nearby village called Alstrat, investigating one of the um, unqu antiquated trails, okay, <laughs> when I finally found the cavern. I went inside and suddenly I couldn't, uh, I could <laughs> verify uh, the truth of these. Engamic artifacts, okay, they were real, yeah, okay. Oh my god, seriously. <laughs> As you can understand, this is more uh, the most important discovery of my life. But, it has also become the, my greatest fear. As I have entered the underground chamber, I could feel that I was trespassing because of my curiosity. I did my best to fight these instincts and fetch the orb from its place. I scrambled, uh, scrambled out of the chamber. And into the woods, I could not. I could sense something was following me. It bayed, <laughs> it bayed loudly as it closed in. The beast, this guardian of the orbs, was relentless in its pursuit. I made my way to the nearby ravine, where I stumbled across uh, up some men. <laughs> okay, I stumbled up of some men fishing at the, in the lake. I tried to warn them as I passed. But they, unfortunately, they re remained as I continued my escape. When I heard their cry of pain echo through the valley, I felt such an, a tremendous uh, sense of relief, thinking I would be spared. Suddenly, a blue shimmering light engulfed me, and the colours of the forest were washed away before my eyes. I kept running through the bleak surroundings. The trees had turned charcoal. Black with leaves of cider, the ground covered in murky water. I pressed for, uh, on through the drenched land as the glowing ember gave way to the raising wind and and rain on me. I could hear pleading screams in the distance, and I joined in the and as pain and fear overtook me. I fell to the ground, gasping for air. This is certainly a most sound. Uh, this certainly must sound strange. But I had carried miles away across the Alps to a uh, to a grassy land outside Genoa. Uh, the guardian had taken the orb from me, but still, until th this day, I uh, fear its return. Sometimes I lay awake at night, listening for the howling cry. I heard it, uh, I heard in the forest. Ah, I should have read that all in one sentence. It has been nearly a decade since that day, and I still haven't been able to write about the incident. 
the last time we spoke to you, you told me uh, uh, your interest and ongoing research into the mythic orbs. I realize I owed you the truth about my visit to Alstrat. I'm probably saying that completely wrong, but still. Your friend and mentor, Henrich Cornelius Agrippa. Oh, it's Agrippa. Again. Good thing that was nothing important. Anything in this room now? Shut up, dog. It's like a dog in pain, that type of howling, though. So you can't, I can't really say it. It sounds really mean. Ollie, ollie, oxen free. Why did I jump? <laughs> I pressed the wrong button. Ah! Ah! <laughs> dog head. <laughs> Lovely. Hello, dog. Ruff! Ruff! Ah! I don't know where it went. I don't want to know. Ah, oh, not more reading. Animal experiment. Uh, Canis lupus familius. <laughs> 1658, April 12th. After a short study, it is clear that the uh, agation found among the humans could be found in the dog. Fear and pain induce stress, which seems to trigger an in, uh, in generous response. What was that? Okay, I can't read it. Causing animal to burst with energy. I believe that the ca uh, catalyst is uh, produced in the brain. It is difficult to determine exactly where and what it is, but I can sense it. It reeks of cosmic genesis. There is an inherent problem in harvesting the energy, since the creature is bound to die from the, uh, the exercise. Uh, I must refine this uh, process of torture to enable any real work to be done. More experiments must be performed, but it seems that only human beings are able to produce the amount necessary. It might be their ability to appreciate the severity of the process that ultimately arguments their experience of terror. Ah, some really nice people in this game, aren't there? Got like a hammer. Wow. Like a mounted dog. Oh, you can see its bones. Oh, lovely. That bird. Stapled to a wall. Oh, lovely. Shovel again. Never nailed down bird. Let's see what you have to offer. I should have sharpened the saw, but I can sense it. It's definitely there. The fuck is that? Oh, it's a mannequin. Okay, Mr. Rabbit, you'll stay here. Okay, I'll stay here. Okay, that's a very good thing. Wait, why am I talking to that voice for a rabbit? What rabbit does a <laughs> what a voice does a rabbit make? Okay. Oh, oh, lovely. You have a penis. What a very interesting picture. Right. Um, oh, yes. Before I carry on, there's one thing I actually did notice over some of the videos. Uh, it's the brightness is terrible. Well, especially on YouTube, you pro can't see a thing. Let's hope that helps out a bit more. Uh, seems a little bit nicer for me as well. Because if I can't, if you got, <laughs> if I can't see things at times, since you guys can't see things at times, 
And that's not very good viewing. <laughs> Really? Who keeps bones in their chest? Oh sh... That was a feather, I thought there was something I could pick up. Is there any... Seriously, there's nothing in here I can pick up. Unless there's something behind the bones. It's... Get out! Get out! Get out! There's nothing in there. What's wrong with your face? Okay. Oh, a piece of paper. More reading, really? <sighs> I can't be bothered. Right. Further disappointment. The um, Ankarian's latest findings yielding nothing. I'm still under under able and uh, unable to grasp the inner workings of life and its uh, relation to the power I sense within within it. I shall pursue more books on the subject, but I suspect it will be in vain, since no re uh, research has been made in the particular interest. I must attempt to fill the void myself. Clearly humans emanate more of an energy I seek, but I hope animals will suffice as they would prove less of a hassle to acquire. Uh, I kind of see that. I'd, ra I'd rather tell it, honestly, I'd rather you do experiments to animals than humans. That probably sounds really bad, but then I'd rather you not do experiments on anything, technically. But it's like, if you had to do something. Hopefully it's brighter for you guys as well. Mind you, in here it's quite bright. What the fudge? Right. Oh, it's dead end anyway. Okay, I can go back now. I hope. Stop it with the wind. Crap. Uh. Oh, oil. Was that always there? Okay. I'm terrible at picking up chairs and throwing them. Well, they're standing up. It's just there's like no noise. Oh, it's parkour. Yeah. Please don't kill me. the hell? Oh, look at all that weird slime. Oh, this ain't good. I'm in a different part of the building now. Whoa, 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 whoa. When will it, m it be my turn? I have not shown restraint. My patience bans centuries for where I come. I came. Mankind has not even waste, uh, wasted a breath, yet I bow to you. I have done so much for you, and I have gained nothing in return, Agrippa. I trusted you, and it was in uh, it was I who, in all fairness, should have entered the gate. And I said, no. I am terrified now. This room is, like, destroyed, and there are chairs. That door's open. I don't like this, I don't... Ooh, what's this? Oh no! It's another piece! Uh, if the factory breaks down again, uh, make sure the steam engine... Oh, this is for, like, the machine room. Oh, fudge. 
Okay, at least this will be useful. I'll know what to do for the next puzzle now. If the elevator breaks down again, make sure to use the steam engine to power uh, to build a pressure before channeling it into the machinery. Adjust the levers to get uh, the right amount of pressure inside the chamber. Uh, the meters should add, uh, read up eight and down eight. Make sure to follow the uh, it. Um, follow is set according to the uh, following chart. Uh, Trinity steam set functions four phase amplitude uh, complete steam uh, flow cycle. Note that the machine will not properly uh, configuration until all rods are inserted. So this is a rod.